You are now listening to The Beat Basement, Season 7, Episode 6. You think your beats are like plant-based beats? It's uh, still they, that hearty. They, they still hard. They yeah. think I eat chicken with other beats. <laughs> <laughs> it's The Beat Basement, where you hear from your livest producers, all of them. And this is where it all goes down, where you hear the funky sounds. From the producers who's up and coming to the great ones, all of them. And I'm your host, Swish, and we going in. Everything going in. Well, on this episode, man, we got one of the dopest producers, man. This dude is steadily on his grind, man. He don't have no time for nothing else but to do this. Man, hey, big dreams, big things popping when we with this dude. Um, on this episode, I got my boy 444 Bakari. Hey, what's up? I appreciate the intro and everything he said is true. Very that's, true. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Appreciate yes, it, family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my name is uh, Bakari. I put the 444 because it, uh, it signifies like my belief in God. And um, I see numbers a lot. And 444 was one that stuck out to me the most because I spend money and my transaction will be 444. I'll look at the time, let's say 444. I'll watch a movie or something. Some of the movie will say 444. So I'm like, okay, this must be God telling me something. So but originally I'm from New Haven, Connecticut. Um, I started making music after I graduated high school because growing up, like I always loved music. Um, and especially in my high school days, like I was heavy into music. Like that's, that's when I felt like I was into music the most from like, Cause I was around 2015, 2016, so I was having on ASAP Mob, Joey Badass, Mac Miller, Blackboard Zombies. Like, that's when um, I was listening to Herb Heavy, Bibby, uh, Keith. So, everything I just always liked, I was just like, shit, um, let me try it out. And the rap part, uh, not that I couldn't rap, but it didn't come natural. So, I was like, shit, let me try the producing part. And um, when I made my first beat, it just felt natural. Like, it felt like, damn, like, this for me. And I've just been doing that ever since. And I started doing that in 2018, and here we are today. So, Do you feel like uh, you got most of your music um, talents from Connecticut? Uh, Yeah, I, I do. Uh, Like, growing up, even, I remember being, like, 10 years old. My little brother, his dad used to play, like, Scarface, Jay-Z. I'm 10. I'm in the car just listening. Like, And uh, even my cousin, Shamara, she used to be playing Boosie in the car. I'm 10, and I'm just listening to it, and I'm like, damn, like, I really like this shit. So I think a lot of that, just um, hearing like quality music so young, I think that just always stuck with me. So I like to, I like to make music based on that type of mentality, like quality over anything first. So yeah, that's my thing. Okay, so yeah. so 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 um, you like the more uh, what do I want to say? Um, more bars. You like the more lyrical. Yeah. We started yeah. off lyrical. Yeah, Listen yeah. To the lyrics. I definitely say that. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, what made you pick up a a, a keyboard, a computer, a, a doll, and just start? You know, what I'm saying making beats. Um, my boy at the time, Jamel, uh, he was making beats, and then um, he was using FL, which is what I use today. But he, I just watched him do it one day. I'm like, damn, that shit look uh, kind of interesting. So then I had um, I asked him like, how much FL is, and at the time. The, the, the edition I got was $100, so I just got it. And then I just started playing around with it. I'm like, damn, this shit dope. Like, And um, just just hearing myself create something, that shit just drove me crazy. So I just got addicted to that. Like, damn, I'm creating something from nothing. Yeah. And it's easy, you know? So that's just what really drove it for me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Uh, um, do you think you better than your friend Jamil now? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, shout out Jamil though. Yeah, hey, shout, shout out to you, bro. Yeah, I, you know, no disrespect, yeah. but your boy is talented. Um, he will be proud. I'll say that. Okay, yeah, he'll be proud. Like, damn, you you fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'll be proud. I, yeah. I'll definitely say that. Yeah. So, do you have an artist or artist that you collabed with? Um, um, it's an artist I have met uh down here named Jade. Um. I I was on I was in the bathroom one time at work and um his his promo thing came through so uh, I just clicked on his page and I just heard a couple of the songs I'm like damn this dude's dope so I had DM'd him I'm like yo uh, you dope 
You feel me? I, I stay out here too. I, I make beats and shit. If you down to work, I'm, I'm trying to work. So yeah, hit me back and then we had linked up. And then um, this the name of the song was um, I can't remember the name of the song, but he he killed it though. I ain't gonna lie. So I worked with him before, and um, that's that's really what drives me the most. I, I like to find talent. Like I feel like I'm a unheard talent and a talent that's on the rise. So yeah. I like to. Do the same and find people that I feel like. You know, man, this you, is gem. You're not one of them producers that that try to find a talent and then be taxing the boy. You nah. know what I'm saying? Instead of coming up together yeah. with each other, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Facts. Nah, I I don't really be taxing because uh, my main thing for doing this uh, the same like hunger and love I got for it. I just I really just want to hear people make the best music they can. So yeah. if a person tells me like, oh well, you know I'm not in the best financial situation, but I have work ethic and I believe in myself. That's all I need. Yeah. Because I look at it like, if if that's the case, then eventually we're gonna get somewhere. Right. So I'm just I'm more concerned than are you? Do you really want to do this? Right. You know. So that's my thing. Yeah, it's hard trying to find artists that really want to do yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? But Definitely. once you find that one, you gotta lock in with them. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you was in a um a beat battle not too long ago. I know you was in a uh the beat basements beat battle and you yeah. showed out in that. Yeah. Um, tell us about your experience in in, in my beat battle and then um, the one that you recently um, was in. Well, um, with your beat battle, man, that shit was dope. Um, Thanks, bro. I yeah, I, I I love stuff like that. Um, I I I wouldn't even say I was nervous. I just I feel like I'm I feel like this is what I'm meant to do. You know. Yeah. So just playing uh, the beats out loud for people and stuff like that. Um, I really just appreciate that the fact that people be like, damn. That's that's dope. Yeah. And the um the battle I went to uh on Sunday, it was it was the same thing. Like, um all the producers was hard though. Yeah. But um when I played my beat and um and everybody heard it, uh afterwards when I was finished and they gave us the critique, like uh ATL Jacob was like he was like, Yo, I like that beat, like send that to me, you know? And my whole thing is I'm big on like being unique, being original. Like I feel like it's easy to make a sound that everybody's doing. But to sit down and create things that from nothing, that's yeah. that's what I'm big on. So what's your sound? Like uh, I know you I know you like the the one you know, the bars, but what is your yeah. what is your go to instrument? And um, what is your sound? I feel like my sound is like realness. I feel like my sound is like Yeah, I see you with the Tupac shirt on, yeah, so it can't yeah. be nothing but real, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, fact, yeah. You know, so my I feel like my sound is like realness. Like I I want somebody to hear what I'm making. You can feel what I was feeling when I was making it, yeah. and that's my biggest thing. And I I feel like I specialize in bass. Like that's that's my thing. Whenever I hear like a sound in my head, I'm just I'm clicking the bass to it, and then I just put it out like that. So I feel like I specialize in the bass. How do you start? How do you start cooking up? Um, I hear the sound first. Okay. Like I I let the loop run. Um, the melody. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I let it run. Um. And I and I could do both. Like I've I've uh just on like a creative tip, but um when I first started, I everything I made ever was from scratch from like three years straight. And then my cousin, he was like, Yo, um Damn you dope. Yeah, he was like, You dope, I wanna see Yeah, you, that's dope. Um, mess with some melodies and loops and stuff. I was like, Cool. And then I started doing that. So I, I showed myself that I could do both. And um I've made a beat one time with no sound in it, just the beat. And it was fine. <laughs> I, I had named it. It was a the baby type beat. That's dope. But yeah, like my mind is just like when I hear a sound, I could like as long as I register it with it, I could start putting something together. So yeah, yeah that's my thing. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, tell us a story about music that you'll never forget, man. Um, that you you know. I remember. Um, it's crazy how like things align. I remember my first apartment I had moved to. Um, shout out AJ if you still doing what you're doing. But uh, shout out AJ. Yeah. Uh he lived across the door from me. I didn't even know that. I would I'll just be coming in every day regularly. And I don't remember how we even ended up talking. But long story short, he was running a hip hop blog. Uh I think it was called um I can't remember the name of it, but he was running a blog and he was and I had told him I made music and stuff and um I showed him a couple of my beats and he was like, Man, you dope. So he was like, I'm going to New York. Tomorrow, like you want to come with me, cause he went. He was going to um, I forgot what label it was, but he was he was going. And he wanted me just to see the process. So I was like, oh cool. damn! So we had went to New York, and then um, 
he was like, he was like, you cool because like I brought the homies before, and they'll see somebody start fanning out like, oh my god, oh. cause we had seen baby just come out the the building, Cash Money baby, and to me it just was like I just felt like this is what I'm here to do, you know. So it was just kind of regular for me. But he was like, I respect that because I brought the homies before we run into his mind, they start tripping. So that that was a, a dope experience though. Yeah, that yeah. sound dope. That yeah. sound dope. Yeah, real. Dope. Yeah, yeah, man. You probably should have ran up on back. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, don't. Right, right. Yeah, for real. Here go my beats. Here go my beats. Holla at me. You tall in person, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is he though? He's, he's he tall? was kind of tall. Yeah, he was tall. Okay, yeah. yeah. His brother Slim tall. Though. Yo, you fact. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was tall. Mm. Um, what producer would you like to uh, work with, and who who um, who inspires you? Like, well, who's your favorite producer? Um, I want to work with the Alchemist. Yeah, I like those gritty. Um, I like those gritty type of beats. But who inspires me? Um, I, I, I anybody who is creative enough to make a beat inspires me because it makes me feel like, damn, this is like a superpower for real. So anybody doing it and you know doing it from that place of love, or love to do it. That that inspires me. Yeah. yeah. Did you did you go to school for any any music? You know? Um, it's crazy because in third grade I was in the band for a week, and then um I was gonna play the trumpet, but uh for a week, yeah, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> then, uh, shout out, Mister Fluker. That's uh, all it took, though. Yeah. Uh, I I went to David Street. Shout out, Mister Fluker. Yeah, David Street <laughs> Magnet School. I it was right up the street from where my mom lived, but um, uh well, music. Uh, I make everything like off of intuition. Like even you know the uh the stopper thing. It's like I never used that ever, ever, never ever used it. Damn. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you don't need no click. No. Uh-huh. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Favorite what else school? outside of music? Is there anything else um, outside of music? I like to spend time with my kids. Okay. Yeah. I'm um. I got three. I just had a newborn, actually. Oh, Sunday congratulations! Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank man. You. Had a boy. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I like spending time with them and showing them different things, and I like I like to study a lot of um like black history and um just empowering things for uh black people um because it, it definitely makes a difference and it 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 gives you an identity of the world that we live in and how to move around it correctly. So outside of music, I'm really into studying things like that, and um, I look, I kind of look at music like a sport a little bit, cause I don't really watch sports like I used to. So I be like in tune with what's going on in the music and stuff like that. So music yeah. like a sport for me. Yeah. With my kids, I wanna, I wanna give them like a different experience than I had, you know, cause I, I had a good life, I had a good childhood. But yeah. I wanna do something different. Like my kids are plant based. Um, I wanna teach them how to make beats. Uh. I actually want to homeschool them, but I want to do it in a way where it's cool. Like, we can, like, go to the museum today or go to the zoo tomorrow or go to the park. It's not like we're just going to be in the house, but I want to I wanna give them a chance to live, like, a creative life. Because they're creative. Kids are real creative, and I want them to be able to create a life for themselves as well. And um, that's, that's, that's a lot of the reason why I'm doing the music, too. I just want to get to a point where I can live off of music and be able to like be with my family and create while I create at the same time. Hey, well, you heard it here first, man. You know what fo 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 Bakari is standing for, man. Yes, Reach down inside, mm-hmm. pull it out, man. Yeah. He got it. He got the vibes. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. It's the cook up. Yes, time sir. for the cook up. <laughs> A successful man is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks that were thrown at him. Yeah, man. People gonna throw them stones at you. People gonna throw 
rocks, you know, they going to shame your name. But use that same, use them same bricks that they threw at you to lay your path to your dreams. Lay them out. Lay, lay that foundation. Use it as a foundation to stand on. Stand firmly on it. And make your way. Make your foundation strong. Use all them bricks, all them rocks, all them sticks that people threw at you. And use it to make it. Make your dream. That's my word, y'all. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Peace.